This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome here to Lake Clifton and the Rink. This is their new building. This is the 1A quarterfinals between Lake Clifton and Princeton out of Frederick County. The Lakers get it first. And Blackwell was with Patterson a year ago and trying to make a return trip back to Infinity Center. Ball snap. It was tapped. It was tapped. Lake Clifton will keep possession. The Lakers come into this game. A record of 20 and 6. And an early timeout by the Lakers. So let's set things up for you, Mighty Quick. Early timeout. The Lakers path here. Beaten. Douglas here of Baltimore, Benjamin Franklin. Patterson's path here. Beaten. Pittsburgh, Brunswick. The Brunswick game, unfortunately, Patterson's best player went down in that contest. We'll take you back to game action. For the Cougars today, they are trying to overcome that loss to get to Infinity Center. Blackwell, going to swing it again. Gray will wet it. That's a three. That goes in. Blackwell gets things going for the Lakers, trying to make that third straight trip to the Infinity Center. Clock down to 26. Playing clock at 6:44. Back. Open three. Front and miss. Rebound. Stretch. Johnson Parker double. High pass over to the scores table. On the Ball back to the Lakers here. Another five nothing lead. Here for the defending 1A champions, the three seed. Here, the winner of this game will take on Fairmont Heights or Heavy Grace on Friday. You can see that game next week here on DSN down at the Affinity Center. We'll be there for the 1 and 2A semifinals and boys finals. We have the girls 3A and 4A semis, which include undefeated Howard against Western. What a game that's going to be. Nice kiss. Lay there for the Lakers. We'll go throughout timeouts today to give you an update on all the bracket information on the girls and boys. At the end of this video here in the first half, you see the results of all the girls' actions. And the foul is called on the other way against the Lakers. First team foul on both. Facility here on Hartford Road. The double polish. And he traveled. He traveled and the ball back to the Lakers here. The reseeding here. Normally this game today would have been Edmondson against Lake Clifton. But thanks to reseeding the quarterfinals, Edmondson has been sitting on the other side. They will see Seatfield for a second time this year. And the winner of that game will play the winner of Southern Garrett. That's a three, and Blackwell couldn't get it in. Crottenton trying to get on the scoreboard for the first time. Call it. Ball back over. Deep three. Except the miss there. Back. Blackwell pulls up and hits. Early nine up and lay there for the Lakers. Back over to Parker. Makes it. Look 
in the... But still, not there. Paul is talking over by Craig. Craig going to Wagner. And two points was looking like it was in the future, but not there. Quick is fouled. Look like by Black. And a timeout as well by the Kruger. Switch over to this scoreboard, as you can see this one a little better. Early nine, nothing late here for the Lakers. So we talk about the boys' side of things here. One A, Southern Garrett. They was in last year's final against Lake Clifton. They're the one seed. They take on Subbaville, the South Region Two champion. The winner of that game they played the winner of Seatfield and Edmondson. And of course, the winner of this game here with the Lakers and the Cougars. Go face off against having the great so Fairmont Heights. What a game that's going to be. And we'll have all the results up for you on our second half. That's on the boys' side. Parker has it. Parker goes to the basket. It was blocked away. Offensive rebound. And a jump ball is called. Which way is going to go? It's going to stay with the Cougars there on their end. One left here in the first quarter. It's been all late so far. Trying to get back. Last time we see a Lake Clifton for a quarterfinal matchup with Newtown. It was the last game of the legendary Mike Tom Daniels career a couple years ago. That one didn't hit nothing. Gray, and they swing it back. Gray for three. Check the mess. Shank with the rebound there. The Lakers have gotten all the quick starts in their matchups here in the postseason. Paulus for three. That one hits the back on, no good. Rebound here. Off the back. Back inside. That's a close. Black ball with it. Back over. Missed it high. Gray coming down the court. He's looking for Blackwell and he lost it out in a turnover. The ball back. To Brighton here. 11 up and late here for the Lakers, trying to get back to the Infinity Center for a third straight year. Second year under the 1A banner. Burnett. They swing it. Parker inside a first point for the Cougars. 11 2 game. And it's an all late. In this afternoon matinee matchup. Back over. Fakes the three, drives to the ten. And shooting two. Davis at the line. Shooting a pair. First time we've seen the Lakers was against Polly in the city championship game. And first second of the Polly at Davis is too much. Session. Gray. Look at the pass, and it got turned over. Back the other way. Hawker. Long pass to Paulus. Paulus shoots the three. No good. And a reach in, a foul against the Cougars there.
Dish. Back in the corner. That's a three. Blackwell couldn't get down to go. 12 with the rebound. He walked. Go. Foul on the ball against the Cougars. Fighting and a wonderful season in uh, Frederick County to get the lights of Frederick. That's a three. That tipped and miss. Rebound to Cox, the big fella. Back over to Parker. Parker. Travels call. Lakers get it back. Lakers open. It's time next Saturday. They'll be in the 1A championship game. They'll be facing their rivals, Everson, for that privilege. That'd be great. Back. Fakes it. Pulls up. And hits. Another bucket goes. Lee still to, to 10.
second quarter underway as the ball hit Michael Gray in his face. Lakers, as that was their own force here. Back over the swing. He got reached in a foul, 15 foul against Crichton. Rolling here, they're up by 19. Oh, turns it over. Gray, Davis, inside, shooting two. Two shot fouls, ball. Throughout and the rundle before I pull off the upset one more time. Quick set, Gray got it back. Shot clock down to 23. Playing it. That's a three. It's off the back. No good. The Krugers with the rebound. That's a three. No good. Oh, look out. Back. Shot clock. That's the three off the back. No good there. From McVay. Three from Blackwell off the back. That's no good. Side. That one's been down. Lines and time.
Time out by Crattenton. 31-7 here. And as we take a timeout, we're going to talk about the girls' side of things. We'll go through the regions here. 1A, CMIT North. Able to advance on. Cotton Academy had a tough one against Crottenton on the girls' side. Cotton Academy survived that game in overtime, and they will meet on Friday coming up. Sutterville. Bernard Manor. Southern Dream Nath, as we're talking, has not played yet. That's the only girls' game that's not taken place yet. We had a result for you here right at halftime. 2A Pikesville, the defending 1A champions, will take on Westlake in the upset. Middletown, Forest Park, I mean, Forest Park and Pikesville had to get through each other a year ago to get to Towson. Now, with the new reseeding, they can meet in the 2A final. That should be a good one. Both shots go in for Gray. For 3A girls, we'll be there for the defending 3A champion, Frederick, against the undefeated Easton. That toughest challenge of the season, and that's a foul inside. And then the winner of that one on Thursday will come back Saturday to see the winner of Rockville pulling off the upset against Breakdown. By two against Polly to the runner-up of 3A a year ago. And that should be an interesting one as well. For a it was short, the top four seeds have made it. As it's great a black wall here, the layup goes in. 35 to 7. Which is turned into a football score now. Cottonton, of course, without their best player in this. Tough challenge for these guys. Here. This is a three. That hits. That's three to respond back. That gets them in double pick. It'll be Howard and Weston. And then it'll be C and H Flowers. They're going up against Churchill on the girls' side. And that should be good action. We'll have the three A boy girls coming at you in the semifinal win. Towson here next Sunday here on DSN. And that's a foul. Once again, a lot of reaction for two reasons. One, just me on most of this. And two, due to MPSSA relations, they usually give 72 hours to any highlighted game broadcast gets out. So, I that for you next week here. MPSSA, some of and fouls in the dots right now. That one spins out. And score with the rebound. 356 left here in the first half. Black. Gray for three. No good. Back over. That's a three. Off the other side. Off the three. Game, In the second half, we'll get through the boys uh, and the things. Blackwell pulls up and hits. 37 to 12. Coast to coast. Count it! And one! The trip to infinity. For a third straight year. Looking like it's inevitable now for Lake Cliff. both sides. We're going to take time as well. We'll be back at the end of the second half. Coming up. Back here to game action. The game one here coming up. It has been all Lake Clifton. They're up 41-12. They're trying to make it a 30-point lead. In two. Wild for three. Got it! 
Lakers here on their end. Uh, 208 left here in the first half. That's a walk, big time. Ball will go back to the Krugers here. 204 left. It's been all they clipped in here since the tip. That's uh, Lake Clifton's 16 foul. Again, the winner of this game will face the winner of Have the Grace and Fairmont Heights. What a, what a game that's going to be. It's almost not fair. That's a 2 7 matchup. It's not fair. Back. They swing it again. Shot clock down to 10. Hawker. And he carried the ball. Go right now to Montana can compete. Right down here in the city. Gray dips it. Got to get that ball back to Blackwell, you would think. Gray cleans it up and puts it in. 47-13. Lakers at home have been unbeatable. I believe this season they're undefeated here. I like Lakers. One oh eight left. Gray back. That's a three. Spins out. That was a little cool there. For Andre Davis. That's a foul. 17 fouls. Nobody wanted one of them. 58.5 left here in the first half. Seconds left here in the first. Big City, Blackwell, Davis, Gray. That's the three. Off the back, no good. Offensive rebound. That one tipped in this there for Kalai Davis. 
ครับชูชัดมาแล้ว 29.6 left shot clock is off first shot off the glass and then bang bang 48-15. Second shot. Spins out. Hawker. That's Lake Lifton's almost at 50. That's a three. No good. Davis goes to Carl. Clifton has hit the 50 mark here in the first half. Yep, 50 to 15. Second half looks like it's an level now for the Lakers to get back to the Finney Center for a third straight year. The results of all the girls' action, as well as the upcoming matchups on the girl MPSSA, coming up. Second half video is coming up at you here shortly. Stay tuned. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?